I know that there's magic still in your eyes Although I've been told you will never rise I'll stay by your side like a shining night Though no sword can win this fight I know that there's comfort, you feel no pain Far from the world you will remain Perfect and clean like the virgin snow Dream of spring unknown Do you remember the bluebell parks, the summer gardens, the times we laughed? Please stop walking in your sleep. Though you're lost, you're still right here with me. Oh, please stop walking in your sleep. I'll pay any cost for you to wake and see. Come back to me. How many like you around the world? Somebody's boy or someone's girl A million sleepwalkers that have been lost To a land we cannot cross Do you remember the bluebell parks, the summer gardens, the times we laughed. Oh, please stop walking in your sleep. Though you're lost, you're still right here with me. Please stop walking in your sleep. I'm paying. your sleep though you're lost you're still right here with me so please stop walking in your sleep I'll pay any cost for you to wake and see come back to me Hello, welcome to Guitar Trek. I am Richard J. Dowling, and every week I upload an original song. This week is week, I think it's week 83, 82, 83, I'm losing track. And the song is Walking in Your Sleep. The, um, the genesis of the song was, uh, I was set an exercise, I'm working with a, a song mentor. Um, it's called Boo Hewardine, um, and I highly recommend it. Um, I don't really have much time to go into why I wanted to, to work with a mentor, but it was basically just, um, I just wanted some new input to sort of, you know, just give me maybe new directions uh, and things to follow. So one of, one of the things, one of the exercises he gave me was to write a song uh, starting on a note outside the chord. And I'd sort of done this before in the past, but I'd always felt a little bit like, because I don't have any formal music training, I felt that maybe I was doing something wrong. But one of my favourite songs that I've done in this challenge, the Song of Week challenge, was, um, and I don't remember the week, but it was The Sight of You, where the 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 note of the, the chorus, the main chorus, the, the melody of the chorus starts off on a note 
outside of the main chord and it sounded nice so I just went with it and I think I've done that in the past as well in other songs but this was the first time I specifically sat down to do that so um, I just strummed an E major chord E major is made up of the, the tonic or the, the first note which is the E on the guitar the next note is the fifth um, which is B and the third is uh, up here and uh, the note is well it would be a G sharp or an A flat G sharp I guess so those are the three notes that you can choose from E B and G sharp so I went to the second so this is the this is the octave of the E in the guitar this is just E and the second note is an F sharp or G flat I never remember which is which but um, so just hitting that note you can hear there's a dissonance and it's that dissonance which it, it really sort of just hit my, my the melodic part of my brain so as soon as I sang that note you want to resolve in my case I wanted to resolve it up with two which would go to the third la, la, la. La 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 And the whole melody just sort of felt, came out fairly quickly. One thing that I did do when I, um, not me, well not me, but um, Boo Hewardine, when I showed him this song, he really liked it and said it was very sort of catchy melody, memorable. Um, but I originally had it. Um, Though no sword can win this fight Resolving back to the E major, which to me felt too predictable and bluesy But I couldn't really figure out a way of getting around that And he suggested going to the D major chord So No sword can win this fight So I'm singing the same note, I'm singing the E But when you play it over the D major, it gives it a nice Again, a dissonance. You're play, effectively playing it under the second, which is a little bit unexpected at that point. So for me, it was uh, a sort of light bulb moment, and I'm going to be experimenting with that sort of thing uh, a lot, I think, over the next few weeks. Or who knows? Maybe I won't. I mean, what that, one of the nice things about songwriting is that you never know what you're going to do. So as much as I can say oh, I'm going to write this type of song, something else happens, or you know, I like the unpredictability of it. But so that's the, the main thing for this week was uh, don't be afraid of notes outside the chord. Now effectively, when you when you sing a note outside the chord, really I guess you're you're basically just making a new chord. So you could try you could try to that's a second, so you could play an E second on the guitar. Um, and I was working with a, uh, another musician once who always would always try and complicate the, the guitar chords by trying to incorporate everything into it, and I. Personally, I just prefer simple triad chord, and then the the, voc the voice against the guitar provides a nice dissonance. And um, so that's it. Then the lyrics. I mean, the first line just came out. Just I mean, normally I just go na 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 blah blah blah, and as you're babbling along, sometimes a word comes out, and this I know that there's magic. Still in your eyes, and that everything rolled out from that. So why is it magic in your eyes? Yes, but why is it still in your eyes? Because it indicates that perhaps it doesn't look like there is magic in your eyes. So I just came up with the idea of, of uh, you know of a narrator singing or writing a song to his partner who is in a in a in a coma. We 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 guess, and then is wondering whether this person remembers. The, the times that they shared together when she was not in a coma and um, so he's yeah so she's sleepwalking in the sense that she he thinks that maybe she's dreaming in in this coma and he wants her to come back to the, to the real world so that's the the, the, the basic idea um, that's it for today I've got a, I've got a rush I've got a lot of stuff to do um, and I know you do too so so I'll let you get to work so take care bye bye